Hi there and welcome to my channel. My name is Rocco and over here I do Daz 3D tutorial videos to help you to get the most out of your own renders. And welcome also to my Beginners to Daz series where I'm going to do a series of videos on Daz from the level of absolute beginners right the way through to the more advanced topics as we get further down the line. Uh, in this particular video we're going to be taking a, a look at what to do with those new bits and pieces that you've acquired from over at the Daz store or elsewhere and getting them installed onto your PC or your Mac and ready for use. Uh, now before we do that though, make sure you hit the subscribe button and the little notification bell down below so that you don't miss out on any new videos, whether that's part of this series that I'm currently doing or my normal bread and butter Daz videos that I do on a regular basis. So okay then, you have your new shiny model or your new dirty little bobber boots that you've just got and you're ready to get them into Daz and have a play around with them. So how do we do that well we've got two options depending from where you manage to get what you've got if it's something that you you manage to get from the daz store then you can use either one of its tools that daz supplies to auto magically get it installed on your system or you can set out and do the installation manually if you know your way around the desk environment that is and you know where to get things installed uh, but why would you choose manual over the auto installer option the Daz store isn't the only place where you can get stuff for Daz. Uh, there's another other places out there on the interweb uh, that also provide stuff for Daz too. You could, for instance, pop over to Renderosity or to Renderhub to name just a couple of places. And for those who prefer a more adult experience, you could also pop up to somewhere like Renderotica and get some good old wholesome assets for Daz. Now, if you do get something from these places, then you'll have to install them manually on your system. Uh, so you'll need to know how to do that. Now, fortunately, I've already done a video on that, so I won't be going into uh, manual installs in this particular video. Instead, you'll be able to find a link up there in the top right hand corner. So make sure you watch that one after you finish here, where we are just going to be dealing with the auto installer options that we've got available to us. But if you have something new from the Daz store that you've acquired, then the option that you've got is to either manually install, like we've just been talking about, or you can use the Daz install manager. And to get that installer, also known as DIM, what you need to do is head over to the Daz store where I am here, come up to this little fellow up here in the top right hand corner and give it a click, this little block there. Now, you may need to, to log in at this point. If so, just put your login details in, log in, and once you, you've done so, give it a click again and you'll see this little menu crop up and you want to be clicking on my account just up there. In which case, that will then take you to, to your account screen and as you can see down here, look up at the DAS3 install, DAS 3D install manager, DIM. Yes, we are, so here's the button that you need to press. Give it a click, download DIM now, and you'll be taken over to this screen where, as you can see here, it says free download. Just give that a click and you'll see down here in the bottom left, in my case, uh, it's downloaded the file ready to install. That file will be located in the, the, the normal folder on your system where your downloads go. Just head over there, give it a click and just install it like you would any other piece of software. By the way, if I come back to my account and hit this option up here, product library, it will take us to the page where all the assets that you've collected are available. Now, if I give one of them a click, this one, uh, you'll see that you'll be able to download the files manually here at the bottom if you're choosing to install, download and install everything manually yourself. Again, there's another video for that up in the top right hand corner if you wish to do so manually. Uh, also, you'll notice that you're also able to install DIM from here. If I give that a click, it will just take us back to that screen that we looked at just a couple of moments earlier. Now, once you have DIM installed and you load it up, you'll be presented with a login screen like what you see here on, on my screen. Uh, and just use the same login details, that's the email and the password that you use to log in log into your DAS account over on the DAS store. And that what that will do is that will link your DIM to your account and give access to what assets you have in your collection now remember this will only allow you to install items that you've acquired over on the daz store and for other stores and other things that you've got you'll have to install them manually now once you're logged in you'll notice that there are three tabs here up at the top there's ready to download ready to install and already what's installed uh, by default you'll come on to ready to download and what you'll see there is a list 
of all the items that you've got in your DAS account that have not yet been installed through DIM. Just one point there, if you, if you have installed something manually in the past or do so in the future, it will still appear in this list. So you've got to be careful and not double in, well, it won't make any difference, but there'll be things in there that uh, you've already got installed if you've already done it manually. Uh, so at the moment, what we've got here, we've got three items for me. And what we can do, we can... Uh, either select all of those items to install as one batch by just clicking the, the check marks up here under products or we can select one of them individually now in this video in this example i'm just going to install one of them uh, which will be this julia 9 hd so i'll give that little checkbox a click and once it's clicked i can come across to this download button over on the right and just give it a click and it'll start to download that file onto my system Once that's done, it will automatically flip over into the ready to install and it will automatically install it without me having to do anything else. And then it will come over into the install file over here and it will show uh, over there in that it's already been installed so once you press the the button over here and you press download, it will just quickly run through it and get it all installed for you. Now, the reason why it all actually goes through automatically is if you come down this bottom left hand corner, you see this little checkbox install after download. And that is what causes it to automatically install once it's downloaded. If we uncheck that tech checkbox and then just come up to one of these other files, let's say uh, this one here, and now we download it. We can see that when we come up to the ready to install tab it's now in there ready for us to install and all we need to do is give it a click the checkbox and then just click this install button and it will install it for us incidentally while we're here uh if we do actually click on the products and, and we know we've only got one there now but let's say we had a, a list of products here to, to download and install once we do it that products button if we come down here to start queue, that is the thing that will trigger the batch file to install and or download and then install if we have the install after download button automatically. The same is true on the ready to install. There'd be a product button up here. Give that a click. Come down to start queue and it will then install everything that's there ready to install for you. Now, once we have installed everything that we want to get installed, we need to know where they are installed within DAS. Uh, and the best way to, to be able to find that out is to come over to content, uh, content library over here, as you can see this tab. And what you need to do is come up to this location here called DAS Studio Formats. And we need to expand that out. So if we give that a double click or if we use the little drop down arrow over to its left, we will see here the two directories on my system where I tend to install things. Uh, this top one is my day-to-day -day bread and butter location where things get installed to uh i've got it a different name there but yours will be called something like my das 3d library or, or something like that i think that's the default uh wording for it uh, now underneath this i have a folder called das tutorial and i use this folder for doing these tutorial videos where I, I drop the assets in that i'm going to be using in the video so i've got quick access to everything so if i need to go searching for things i can get to it really really quickly uh, and i often delete that out and clear that that out uh, but you'll have uh, one one folder in there like i said my dad's 3d library if you have a whole offer i'll say that correctly over over that over you know oh, hover over that uh, you will see a little tooltip crop up where it'll show you where it is on your system if you need to go and locate it yourself so you know i've got that in the root of uh one drive and my tutorial one i've got that in another drive if the tutes there it is i was wondering if the tooltip was going to come up then uh, in another part of my system that i've got so what we need to do now is look for that uh, file, that, that model that I've just uh, installed over in DIM. So it'll have gone into my tutorial folder. So if I expand my tutorial folder by double clicking upon it and I come down to people because she is a person, uh, albeit a 3D one, uh, expand that out. She's a Genesis 9 model that I know she is. I will double click that and then I will come down to characters here and you can see there is the, the, the model that we've just installed on our system. If we expand characters out and we come down to DAS Originals and we expand that out, we'll see a folder called Julia 9HD. 
And within that folder, in this instance, we've got a materials folder where we've got various little options and little things that we can add on to the character once she is in a scene. So there we have it. That is how we install uh, items onto our system, our products and our assets that we get. Uh, by using the auto the auto tools that are provided by DAS, such as the DAS install manager. And of course, this is then where we find those items on our system within DAS when we go to use them. And that's it. That's all we need to be able to do. Uh, hopefully you've got something out of this video and now you, you'll be fairly comfortable using the DAS install manager to, to get your products and assets installed. If so, Give us a like down below, I really appreciate that, that and it really helps the video out in the algorithms. And likewise, if you've not already, please consider subscribing and hitting the little notification bell down below. And that way you will get informed whenever I drop a new video. Thanks for watching. Hope it's been helpful. If you have any comments, drop them down below uh, again in the comment section and I'll get back to you as soon as I possibly can. Thanks for watching. Bye bye now.